Good morning, my family. Good morning. Good morning. I just want to start this out with a prayer. Lord, we thank you for this day. Thank you for all that you do and continue doing in our lives, Lord. Lord, we ask that you lift us up, Father God. You cleanse us, our mind, heart, soul, Lord. That you cleanse us, Father God. Lord, we thank you for all that you do. Thank you for this life that you've given us. Thank you for the air we breathe and for the sun that shines down on us, Lord. Thank you for everything, my Lord. Let's be praying your precious son, Jesus Christ's name. Amen and amen. So, we say that, um, that we're not enough. I can remember back in the days that, that I said that I wasn't enough. That I wasn't enough. I wasn't enough for this. I wasn't enough for that. that the things that I do, the things that I say, really don't mean nothing, don't matter. Do you feel like that sometimes, that you feel like you're not enough? Like you just, like you just can't do enough? Well, I want you to know, I just want you to know and always remember that, that you are enough. That God has made you perfect in every single way. Yeah, we fall short of God's glory, we fall short we do things that that ain't right in God's eyes, you know? We say things, you know? But at the end of the day, just know that you are perfectly, perfectly made in, in the name of Jesus. I could tell you, I could, I could remember back in the day whenever I first gave my, my life to God, and I was on fire for the Lord, and I still am. It's just a different level now. I was on fire for the Lord. I wanted everybody to know about the Lord. You know, I wanted everybody to know what what the Lord did and how He how He changed me. I mean, in a matter of a day, He changed me. He changed everything that I, from me living in the world, giving you know, giving my whole body, mind, soul to the world, except to the Lord. You know, from drinking, partying, from doing all that crap that I did in my life. It, it was like a complete 360 from one day to another. I gave my life to the Lord. I gave my life to the Lord and I started living for the Lord. And I stopped drinking, stopped smoking, stopped you know, doing everything else that I was doing that wasn't pleasing to the Lord. I gave my, my life to the Lord and I was in his word every single day, man. I mean, from the morning, from the time I woke up to the time I went to bed, his, he was on my mind. I was in his word. Before I go to bed, I was in his word reading. Man, and I was having having these dreams, man, of, of, of the things that the Lord was going to do in my life. Man, I, woo, I mean, it, it's so awesome, man. It's so awesome. And uh, long story short, you know, we, we we often run into those situations in life where 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 people people um, how would I say people um, they they try to stop they try to stop what God is doing in, in our lives and and I'm not saying that they're doing it on purpose that they're just doing it unknowingly you know unknowingly doing things. It's like they were still part of the world, right? It's like they're still part of the world, and they're and they're still living in the world, but they're living. Uh, that, but they, but then they've already been saved, and they've already given their life to Christ. But it, it just takes time, you know. It, it just takes time, and I'm not saying that's where they're at now. You know, they they may have grown stronger in the Lord, and they may see that. They, they may have have already seen that. You know, when people come against you, when Christian brothers and sisters say this and, and judge you, you know, for the things that you're doing for the Lord. And that's kind of something that happened to me in my life. You know, in the beginning, man, I was on fire. We, we had a, a family ministry. We were doing live skits for the churches, you know, for the people. Man, and they were fire. And then, and then I was introduced into Christian hip hop. Christian hip hop, whenever I seen that and I heard th these brothers rapping in the name of Jesus, man, I was on fire. I was like, woo, we I wanna do that so bad. You know, because back in the day, whenever me and my mom used to, you know, 
circle up and drink some drink our beer and you know getting drunk or whatever and and passing the weed around man we would be freestyling and rap battling each other man whenever i was introduced to this christian hip-hop stuff man it blew me away i was like man i want to be there one day i want to do that one day i mean i had i had a different fire for for what God wanted me to do in my life. You see, in the beginning, I didn't, I wasn't yet sure what I wanted to do, what, what, what his plan was for me, you know, but I knew that this is something I wanted to do. And when I seen these brothers and, 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 and I, I think, you know, here in, 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 in Lubbock and surrounding areas, you know, these brothers kind of paved the way for these, for these new artists that are here. And I'm gonna give them a shout out, man, because they're the ones that planted the seed in my heart. And um, and it, it was uh, Minister Flows with Verbal Vision Ministries. It was SOG, uh, Soldiers of God. It was uh, CLV, Christ Life Visions with Reza and Lady Ida. It was, um, uh, uh, who else? Um, I wanna say J. Lucio Shy was facing the music. Um, I can remember um, uh, Craig, five, man, these brothers, woo, God. Whenever I heard them, man, ministering through music and for the Lord, man, that set a fire in me. That set a fire. I was like, dang, man. I said, this is so awesome. This is so awesome. Um, I can remember uh, my brother Echo, uh, Mr. Servant. Um, who else, man? Um, Man, there was many more. There was many more, man. But, you know, there was a fire in me. And I was like, man, I want to do this one day. You know, I want to do this one day. And and, and um, sure enough, you know, there was a there was an opportunity, you know. And it wasn't even a, a Christian brother. It was a brother of the world. You know, and, and, and this brother turned out to be a good friend of mine. You know, and his name is, uh, at that time, he went by Mr. Phil with Texas Theater Entertainment of Lubbock, Texas, you know, and he gave me uh, that opportunity to do some music. You know, he was showing me, you know, and I didn't know nothing about music. I, I know about a 16, I know about a hook, I know about about um, about timing or any of that. And I have never was musically inclined, never. I just went and did it because I was like, man, I was so on fire to do something for the Lord but what ended up happening is that there was all of a sudden a, a word whenever I started doing my music you know brothers weren't cool with me doing music because I was uh, associating myself with, with these brothers that ain't of the world that that ain't Christian they were of the world and and then I started getting back backlash about how I was doing things you know with brothers that ain't of the world that you know this music thing that I'm doing, you know, it's not my calling, because I guess I wasn't up to their standard. I guess I wasn't up to par with, you know, I, I, I wasn't in their category, so therefore, you know, I could never, you know, they could never come up to me humbly and tell me, you know, that, that the music I was doing for the Lord wasn't right in their eyes, that the things I was doing for the Lord wasn't right, that, 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 I needed to stay in a, in a certain in a certain category, which was ministering, because I love to minister too. You know, don't get me wrong, but that music, man, whenever I heard these brothers, it just blew me away, and I knew that this is something I wanted to do. It was like like something deep inside of me, like I have to do it. I don't know if you ever felt that way before, where where you have to have something, you have to do it, and that's just the way I felt, man. And therefore, after hearing all this, you know, these brothers talking about. I wasn't good enough and you know that wasn't my calling you know I shouldn't be associating myself with these brothers of, of the world you know and all that man right then and there right then and there it put a damper in my spirit I was crushed and I, I, I was crushed not because they were saying that I wasn't you know, my music wasn't good or the music I was doing for the Lord wasn't good or the beats or me associating myself with 
with these people, with these uh, men, of, men, of, uh, men of God. What hurt me the most was that it's like I was blindsided that I didn't think that brothers and sisters, Christian brothers and sisters, could say something and it, and, and it hurt you so bad, it tear you up so bad. So from that point on, I struggled and I struggled. And, and then therefore, I felt like it started becoming a competitive. Whenever you do something for the Lord, it shouldn't be competitive. It shouldn't be about who's better than who. It shouldn't be about who who rhymes better or, or who raps better or who ministers better, whatever. It shouldn't be about that. Yes, they talk about, but we gotta do things that are, that we, we gotta do things and, and, and if we're doing something for the Lord, it has to be perfect. I heard I heard brother say this over and over. The music has to be perfect. Everything has to be perfect that we do for the Lord has to be perfect. But yet, we ourselves ain't perfect in the Lord. You know, we 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 fall, we fall, we fall short of God's glory. And to me, we're we're not perfect because we're still living in the flesh. But I want you to know that. That we are perfectly made, and we're just we're just living day by day, trying to reach that perfectiveness. You see, when they when when I heard this, I was crushed. I was torn apart, and then therefore I started having like, man, I don't want to be around this brother, man. I, I don't want to do this, you know. It, you know, if I go to an event, I, man, I, I'm gonna have a hard time, you know, dealing, you know, like. I don't want to be fake in front of people, you know, but it's spiritually crushed me. And it, and it spirit, it's put a, damp, a damper on my spirit. And then therefore I was like, I'm not enough. I'm not enough. I can't do this anymore. I'm not enough. But then, but then I have other people on the, on, on this other side saying, just do it. You know, you know, keep on going, keep doing it. But then I have these other people here saying, this ain't your calling. Your music, the, the music you're doing for the Lord isn't good enough. You don't know what you're doing. You don't know how to do this. You know how to do this. And whenever I would go in, in, into the studio and, and do music, that's all I heard in my head. You're not good enough. You're not good enough. And I failed. And I failed. And, and, and the producers were having a hard time because I wasn't on time. I'm my time. And then it just started becoming like, like a burden to me. And, and, and it started becoming to where I didn't want to do it anymore because it was like I have to be, I have to have a certain perfected, perfectedness to do this. But I still didn't ask on to become a Rise for Christ uh, movement and we dropped an album. We did it with some brothers, uh, with Brother Rue, uh, Chris Roman, and uh, uh, Marty Marr. You know, but other than that, I just never felt, I, I never felt like I was good enough. If you feel like you're not good enough, I want you to, to shake it off. Shake it off. I want you to give it to God. I want you to go to God. Go to God. And, and, and pray to Him and talk to Him and ask that, that you be released from this bondage in your life, to be released from this bondage that you have, them chains and them shackles that are have, that, that are chaining you down, that saying that you're not good enough to serve God, that you're not good enough to minister, that you're not good enough to do this, that you're not good enough to do that. You are perfectly made. We are perfectly made in Christ. Stand firm, my brothers and sisters. Stand firm. And I just want this, I just want this word right here to be the, the kickoff of tonight's word. Tonight's word is you're not enough. You're not enough. And I want you to know that as long as you set your mind to whatever it is that you want to do in your life for Christ, I want you to set your mind on Christ. Not to set your mind on man, but to set your mind on Christ. And you can do whatever you want. You can do whatever, whatever it is, you can do it. 
we can do all things through, through Christ who strengthens us. See, God, the Lord, Jesus, he gives us that strength to do what we got to do in our life. Don't feel less. Don't feel like you're not enough because you're more than enough. We are made in the image of God. Christ lives in us. We have all the power that raised Christ from the dead. We have that same power living in us. You are enough. You are loved. All that matters at the end of the day is that you're loved by Christ. And that Christ lives in you. As long as you remain in Him, you will remain. And tonight, whenever I do have my message tonight, I'm going to go live. I'm going to try this live feed out. But I just want you to remember, don't give up. Don't stop because somebody said that you ain't good enough. Don't stop. Keep fighting. Keep going. Stand strong in the Lord. Because at the end of the day, we're not here to please man. We're here to please our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Much love, my brothers and sisters. God bless you.